sibling Real apps for you And reviews on YouTube Come along and watch this video Mr. Blink and Sir Lanker's great bits for you to watch Hey there guys, how are you doing? I'm, I'm enjoying my lunch at the moment so excuse me I'm you know just eating it straight off the uh, container and um, thought I'd do a um, you know video on I got some cigars from um, Carlos uh, aka um, the Pipe Matrix, if I'm not mistaken. Really cool guy, sent me a load of goodies last week. And uh, he sent me some cigars, and uh, some of them are really awesome. He sent me two um, Romeo and Juliet our short Churchills, which uh, are like yummy. I can't wait to try it, I haven't tried it yet. So there were also another two cigars that he did send me, and um, I can't wait, I haven't tried any of them. So, as you know, I had a major cigar bug outbreak. Uh, there is a link on the page. Just go check that video out. That's one of my videos on... Uh, it's really a Cohiba review, but uh, somewhere in that I show you a um, really, really bad cigar bug outbreak. And um, I had two local cigars and they were absolutely ruined. Uh, buy that but thank god my Kohiba was okay and you know I smoked it so um, now getting new cigars I was uh, really worried about you know those buggies getting in to my cigars so um, as you know I absolutely don't have a humido and you know can't buy one either being in Sri Lanka so uh, I knew how to do uh, you know something with my situation so uh, I'm just going to show you guys uh, what the hell I've done with the cigars I got Carlos you can have a look at what I did with your cigars as I have temporarily preserved them to the best of my ability which is trust me not very much a little bit about um, cigar humidification Cigars got to be kept at about, uh, you know, basically room temperature, about 70 Fahrenheit. And um, at a humidity level, about um, 68 to 72% humid. So, uh, Sri Lanka is about 80 to 90% humid. You can see I'm just sweating, even though I had a bath like 15 minutes ago. So, that's like a usual story here. So having all these problems, I was like wondering what to do about them. So um, I'll just show you guys what I did. There was one cigar that came, which was uh, what Carlos sent me, which was in really bad condition. Um, nothing to do with um, Carlos, but uh, it's all to do with um, you know the transport. Uh, basically, there was one cigar that was. Uh, a really big one and uh, it was a super duper cigar uh, the name is not very familiar so it's not coming to my mind right now but I will show you that cigar and it was really it was bone dry when it came and uh, you know when you press the middle you can hear the cracking sound of the dry leaves so I know like that was a goner and even the wrapper was uh, you know kind of uh, cracked up all over and like trying to go and fall off so I knew I had to humidify it if I am going to smoke it and uh, I was like having a huge problem of how to humidify that cigar especially and the other three cigars of uh, how to store them as you know I do not want to keep them in a ziploc bag as uh, you know those buggies are still running around in my uh, place where I keep my uh, Cigars and tobacco, I didn't want it to start, uh, you know, going crazy with those good cigars Carlos sent me. So, I'm just about finished my soup, so 
You guys can come along with me and I'll show you guys what I've done with Carlos's cigars. So guys, I'm in my room and um, I'll show you where I keep my cigars and stuff. My pipe tobacco and all, as you can see, uh, this is my computer table and uh, that's my pipe rack and that's uh, PA Pipe Guy's brand new pipe and those are the other pipes that I have um, that's my computer table and um, this is the cupboard that I have all my tobacco and stuff as you can see um, uh, you know pretty much uh, two shelves these are all my cans and stuff my lighter fluid uh, some uh, space to keep uh, extra pipes this is the pipe that um, uh, you know pipe metric sent me as uh, my pipe stand is full so um, you know I got a couple of tins of flake over there um, some um, black ambrosia not opened and all these tins uh, I got my prize possession nightcap and uh, as you can see in here there's another nightcap but uh, anyway this is all the jars of tobacco and uh, there is a lot more at the back but you can't see them and I've all labeled them and you know so getting to um, what I've done with the cigar this is the cigar that came and what I've done is basically put it in a ziploc bag and I have one of these cotton pads that I've lightly wet with wet it with a little water and basically I zipped it up and uh, I've kept it there from the day I got it so um, you know it's uh, I don't know whether you can see I don't have zoom on it but this line and these lines over here are all cracks so uh, uh, you know it's a bit of a waste the name is called Kiki and it is a uh, Nicaraguan cigar so uh, you know that's how I've been moistening it up and I did press it and it's uh, you know beautifully moistened up for the moment so uh, this is uh, one way you could moisten the cigars up other thing what I did do is um, I basically put all my cigars in a you know bottle so uh, what this does is uh, it keeps it away from all the cigar bugs for one that's like the main thing that I you know wanted and I also wanted to humidify this so what I did is um, on the top of this I put a you know one of those pads and as you can see it's bone dry now but uh, it was slightly moist when I put it and that should nicely help um, absorb all the moisture and keep your cigars nice and fresh I know uh, the moisture level is completely uh, you know you don't have any control over it and uh, it basically can you know get over moist and you know all these problems so um, I know it's not a solution and uh, I wouldn't suggest it to anyone but you know if you're in a country like where I am where you couldn't get jack shit anything you want and you know even if you wanted a humidifier you just can't get it so I think in situations like this uh, you know number one putting it in bottles is a good way to you know shield it and you can put it in a dark uh, you know cupboard like the one I have over there so that should give it a cool space and you could use things like what I've done here to um, humidify your cigar as you can see there is a good room and I don't let this wet pad touch the cigar so you know I don't want the direct water transferring but I just want the moisture from this to transfer so um, that is something I um, you know did I know it's not great but uh, you know I hope it serves the purpose and I got to smoke these four cigars up Carlos thanks a lot for the cigars and maybe in the coming days I will do some reviews on those so saying that guys adios amigos